so uh, in yesterday's class we were dealing with simple harmonic motion and uh, we had seen the equation of simple harmonic motion and the various terms do we remember this i will just give you a quick very quick recap of what we had done y is equal to a sin omega t that was or x is equal to a sin omega t that was my equation of simple harmonic motion a standing for amplitude omega standing for angular frequency and t standing for time if i differentiate this equation with respect to time do you remember this we get the velocity a omega cos omega t here this a omega is known as maximum velocity and this is the maximum velocity that happens at the mean position do we recollect it yes sir we can also write this v as plus or minus omega into root over a square minus x square do we remember this okay. we had also seen that the graph between v and x was an ellipse if i differentiate this equation once more acceleration will be dv by dt and i will get minus a omega square sin omega t i can also write it as minus omega square x i can also write it as minus k by m x because omega square is equal to k by m do we remember this we had also seen the various graphs of uh, velocity acceleration and displacement let us start today's class i have wanted to finish this topic today but i don't know whether i will be able to do it today because of you are being late in the class anyways i will try my best i can't rush and you know do something which is not correct so i'll try my best to <clears throat> complete as much portion as possible these are the few things that uh, we have discussed and i would like you to note it down again i hope you have got your sheet today right that's it em wala sheet is there with you yes or no yes, by yesterday only yes that's great so now you can mark it on your sheet i have already given you that don't write it just mark it on your sheet what are you going to mark on your sheet the total length of the path from one extreme to the other extreme is 2a total work done and displacement in one complete oscillation is 0 but the total distance traveled is 4a it will go from o to a from a to o from o to b from b to o total distance traveled will be 4a do we understand this remember velocity acceleration and displacement they all vary simple harmonically if displacement is in the term of sine wave velocity will in terms will be in terms of cos wave and acceleration will again be in terms of sine wave velocity is ahead of displacement by pi by 2 remember this do not forget this a very important point velocity is ahead by a phase angle of pi by 2 whereas acceleration is ahead from displacement by a phase angle of pi that means it is opposite to displacement can you remember this please mark it out i'll give you a minute to do it do we understand this yes sir okay i'll give you a minute to note the we have we have talked about energy in simple harmonic motion and we have to understand what are the two types of energy that are there in simple harmonic motion so what are the two types of energy that are there the first energy is known as potential energy potential energy of simple harmonic motion and if you think it of as a block attached to a spring we will come to this diagram and we will come to this case very soon in simple harmonic motion we have seen that f is equal to minus kx do we remember this where k is the force constant or the spring constant wherever we have this force which is a conservative force in case of spring it is spring force the spring will store energy in it when the spring is compressed or when the spring is expanded the energy stored in the spring or energy stored in simple harmonic motion is given by half kx square this energy is zero or minimum 
this energy is zero or minimum when the particle is at its uh, mean position because the value of x is zero this energy is maximum and the maximum value is half k a square where a is the amplitude when the particle is at its extreme position this is the graph it's a parabola because half k x square it's a parabolic graph energy is maximum on the extreme points do you see this yes or no yes sir and energy is minimum at the mean position so remember in terms of energy in simple harmonic motion energy is minimum on the mean position and maximum at the extreme position the value is given by half k x square can you note this down i'll give you a minute okay sir I hope you have noted it down. Please note it fast. Sir. Well done. <clears throat> now we move ahead and we see the same formula in terms of time and the graphs of graph of u versus t. In terms of displacement, the energy is given by half k x square. Remember the value of x is a sin omega t. So potential energy in terms of time t will become half k a square sine square omega t so you can write it like this half k a square sine square omega t remember the value of k remember the value of k is m into omega square remember k by m is omega square so this is number one way of writing energy this is number two way of writing the same energy and this is number three way of writing the same energy in number one we have written u as a function of x in number two we have written u as a function of t in terms of k in number three we have written u as a function of t in terms of m and omega square and this is a graph this is a graph of sine square omega t it does not go in the negative side it always remains on the positive side do we understand this yes sir and remember this graph will repeat itself after t by 2 total time period if t if it is t this graph will repeat itself by a time interval of t by 2 can you note this down i'll give you a minute time is running very fast today
कंप्लीटेड सर वेल डन नाउ दीज आर द टू पॉइंट दैट यू मस्ट नो दैट इज वेरी एविडेंट फ्रॉम द ग्राफ इन एस एच एम द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी वर्सेज displacement where a graph is a parabolic function the potential energy is minimum at the mean position and maximum at the extreme position it's a periodic function the time period is half it is minimum at 0 then t by 2 then t then 3 by 2 and so on it is maximum at t by 4 3 t by 4 5 t by 4 that means at this time the particle is at its extreme position at this time the particle is at its mean position do we understand this yes sir please note it down i'll give you a minute to do it Have we noted it down, beta? Completed, sir. Okay. That takes us to the next uh, heading, and this is the kinetic energy of the particle, which is performing simple harmonic motion. As you can see, the kinetic energy of the graph is also parabolic in nature, but it is ulta of the graph of potential energy. in terms of uh, velocity i can write kinetic energy as half mv square this is the first way that you can remember this formula remember the value of v in terms of x or v square in terms of x was omega square into a square minus x square so this is the second way in which you can remember the formula for kinetic energy remember k is equal to m into omega square so this is the third way in which you can remember the formula for kinetic energy of the particle this is the graph as you can see this kinetic energy is maximum at mean position where the value of x is 0 and the value is half k a square do you see this can i have some raise hand that we see this half k a square this is minimum or zero at extreme position do we see this when i put the value of x as a the value of kinetic energy the value of velocity becomes zero i'll give you a minute to note this down draw the graph as well it is the ulta graph similar to the graph of u the graph of potential energy was in the form of u this is ulta u do we see this u and ulta u yes sir note it down please Have you noted it down, beta? Okay. Then this all 
equation 1 2 and 3 where kinetic energy in terms of x which is the displacement now we will see kinetic energy in the as a function of t remember v is a omega cos omega t so kinetic energy becomes half mv square it becomes half m omega square cos square omega t this is way number four in which you can write the same kinetic energy kinetic energy as a function of t way number five what we have done so this is uh, in way number five you can remove m omega square and you can write it as k do we understand this yes sir this is the graph of kinetic energy versus time again this is the ultra graph of uh, potential energy the graph of potential energy goes like this do we see this yes or no the yes, blue one is the graph of potential energy and the black one is the graph of kinetic energy i'll give you a minute to note it down Have you noted it down, Bacha? Yes, sir. Done, sir. Then the same thing written in the form of note. In SHM, the kinetic energy is inverted parabolic. Potential energy was U. This is inverted U. Kinetic energy is maximum at mean position where X is 0. Minimum at extreme position where X is equal to plus or minus A. Again, it's a periodic function. It becomes maximum at the mean position and it becomes zero at the extreme position. Do we understand this? Same thing written in words. I'll give you a minute to note it down. Margaret, sir. Margaret? Yes, sir. Well done. Then we bring us, then we get us to the next point where is we have to find the total energy. Total energy in SHM will be given by potential energy and kinetic energy. And we have seen that the total energy should remain constant. Yes or no? Yes, sir. And if I add potential energy and kinetic energy, this is potential energy. This one is kinetic energy. When I add them, I will always end up with half k a square. And this will remain constant at all times. At extreme position, this entire energy is potential energy. At mean position, this entire energy is kinetic energy. Do we understand this? In between, in between at any point, the potential the energy will be a combination of kinetic energy as well as potential energy. Do we understand this? I'll give you a minute to note it down. Have you noted it down, beta? 
Yes, sir. That was total energy with respect to time, uh, with respect to x. If I find out total energy with respect to time also, this is your uh, potential energy. This part is your kinetic energy. If I add both of these things up, again, I will end up at the same result. Total energy remains constant, whether it is with respect to x or with respect to time. This is the graph with respect to x. And same is the graph with respect to time. Do we understand this? The only difference is in displacement, we have negative displacement because the particle goes on the other side. But in terms of time, we cannot have negative time. We only have positive time. Do we understand this? The difference between the two graphs. Displacement negative is also there. But in time, there is no negative. Do we understand this? Yes, sir. In I'll give you a minute to note it down. Also there. Have you noted it down better? Yes, sir. Well, then we come to the next point, and again, the same thing total energy of the particle in SHM at all points at all instant is constant, and the value is half k square. Do we remember this? Do we understand this? The total energy depends on mass, amplitude, and frequency of the particle. It does not depend on its position. It does not depend on time, but it depends on m, a, frequency, omega, and it depends on the value of k. Do we understand this? Yes or no? Sometimes what they ask us is this formula of average energy. Average energy is energy over one cycle. The average of kinetic energy over one cycle is 1 by 4 k square. This symbol denotes the value is average. The average of potential energy over one cycle will also be half 1 by 4 k square. If they ask you what is the average of the total energy, please remember average of total energy will be the addition of these two. It will be half k a. Uh, it will be 1 by 4 k square as well. Do we understand this? All three are same. If I take averages. The average of. Remember this one. The average of kinetic energy over one cycle is 1 by 4k square. The uh, average of potential energy over one cycle is 1 by 4k square. Will you remember this? Yes, sir. Uh... And the total kinetic energy, uh, the total energy remains same. So the average of total energy will be same as the total energy that will be half k a square. The average of total energy, total energy remains constant. So the average will be same as the original value half k square. The frequency of oscillation of potential energy in kinetic energy is twice. Frequency of, of total energy is zero because total energy does not change. It always remains constant. I think I mistakenly wrote it as 1 by 4 k square. It's not 1 by 4 k square. Average of total energy is half k square. Do we understand this? Average of kinetic energy is 1 by 4. Average of potential energy is 1 by 4. Average of total energy is half k square. Will you remember this?
so now we are done with the basic uh, theory of we are done with the basic theory of simple harmonic motion we have done almost everything that can be asked can i solve some questions now to see what type of questions will come yes or no yes sir okay then sir this is the first question that comes and you will have to give me the answer for this one what is the answer for this one what is the example of an shm and you are given certain choices a b c d can i have your answers here which one is the correct option yes a b c d four options are given motion of an electron around nucleus motion of earth around the sun car moving in circular path a glass ball rolling down a spherical ball which one is the example of shm one two three four obviously one is not there two is not there three is not there the only thing that is possible is example or option number 4 the motion of a ball moving in a hemispherical ball do we understand this yes or no yes sir okay that is the first question let us now move on to the next one and i think you will see that most of the questions that are coming here we have already done in theory this is question number 8 the equation of motion of a particle executing shm i told you i gave you the differential equation you just have to tell me which one of this equation is the correct one a b c d which is the correct option bachcha which is the correct option bachcha Yes, that is correct. The correct option is four d square x by d d square plus k by m times x is equal to zero. Do we remember this? Can I have some raise hand that we understand this? Yes, sir. Well done. Now comes the next question on similar lines. On similar lines, can you now tell me? This is question number nine. Can you now tell me? which is the correct option the equation of shm particle is d square y by dt square plus k times y is 0 oh it should not be k it should be lambda plus lambda times y is 0 where lambda is a positive constant can you tell me what is what is what is the time period of this circular of uh, of this uh, simple harmonic motion your time begins now and the option is one are you reading the answers and telling me the answers or you really know it that is correct remember here the value of lambda is k by m the value of lambda is k by m so omega square becomes k by m which is equal to lambda so omega becomes root over lambda do we understand this yes or no time period is 2 pi by omega therefore the answer is 2 pi by k do we understand this yes. yes or no no yes yes sir well done sir then comes the next question sir we'll solve some question today sir so that we can revise what we have done in the class sir so this is the next question sir question number 2 a figure represents two simple harmonic motion the parameter which has different values this is simple harmonic motion of particle a this is simple harmonic motion of particle b the executing shm you have to tell me what is different in the two shms yes can i have the answers phase difference well done phase difference when a is going in this direction b is coming back they differ in phase they have the same amplitude they have the same frequency well done good that means that means we are
we are uh, understanding what is to be done let's see can you solve this one the phase of a particle executing shm is pi by 2 when it has maximum displacement maximum velocity maximum energy none of the above here we are assuming that uh, the equation is a sin omega t the equation should be given equation is not given so can you tell me the answer for this one phase is pi by 2 a hey, sir maximum displacement that is correct if i take the equation x x is equal to a sin omega t remember omega t will be known as phase if you put the value as 90 the displacement will become maximum now let me move on to this question and i hope that you can solve this question and i will give you some space as well so that i can also solve it if required a particle is executing shm having amplitude a the position of the particle where its velocity becomes half of its maximum velocity where is that position where is that position? I'll give you a minute to think about it. I hope you can give me the answer to this one. Well, I saw some raised hands. How are we going to do this? We will just apply the formula of V is equal to omega into root over A square minus X square. Do we understand this? Now, it is given that, or I can use the formula instead of squares, I can just put squares here. So I will use V square is equal to omega square into A square minus X square. This is better. Now it is given that the position of the particle, we have to find when the velocity becomes half of its maximum velocity. Now what is the maximum velocity? Maximum velocity is A omega square. Do we understand this? It's not A omega square. I am mistaken. It is A omega. The maximum velocity is A omega. So half of this maximum velocity will be a omega by 2 yes or no i put in place of v a omega by 2 so a omega by 2 ka whole square should be equal to omega square into a square minus x square this is a very simple equation that you can solve and you can find the value of x what is the value of x that will come from here what is the value of x that will come from here this value of x that will come from here will be your answer. And from where what I see, the value of x would be coming as root over 3 by 2a. Yes or no? Light has also gone at my place. Let me do something about it. I think. Hello, everyone. Sorry. Uh, yes. Happened, Nothing happened, sir. What will happen? My current went away. That's why I got disconnected. Can you see the uh, Can you see the screen now? Yes or no? Do you see the screen now, beta? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what is the answer of X coming? Is it coming as A root 3 by 2? Yes or no? Yes or no, Bacha?
Esaf. Okay, let me see you. Everyone understands this? Okay, that gives me more confidence. Now let me bring your thing. to hear this type of question, this type of question can also come. The previous question was in terms of X. This question is in terms of time. And I hope that you can do this. A particle is executing SHM. Amplitude is A. Time period is four seconds. Time period is four seconds. Find the time taken by it to move from extreme position to half of its amplitude. From extreme position, to half of its amplitude, light has come. That is a good sign, always a good sign. From extreme position to half of the amplitude, how will you do this? Question, I'll give you a minute to think about it. See, how am I supposed to do this? They have asked from extreme position to half of the amplitude, how much time it takes. Do you see me, Beta? From extreme position to half of the amplitude. Now, remember, I can write the equation of SHM in this fashion, x is equal to a sine omega t. That is the first way of writing it. Now, when I write it from the first way, I am writing it from the mean position. Do we remember this? Do we understand this? But here they have asked from the extreme position. So instead of using this equation, I should use the second equation. X is equal to A cos omega t because this equation, equation number two is written from the extreme position. Do we understand this? Yes or no? Please raise your hands. Yes, sir or no, sir? Yes, sir. Well done, sir. So I will use this equation now. I will use this equation now because this equation is written from the extreme position. What they have given is that displacement should be A by root 2. Yes or no? A by root yes, 2 sir. will be equal to A cos omega t. I can cancel this A. So cos omega t becomes 1 by root 2. Yes or no? Yes or no, bacha? Yes, sir. Therefore, my omega t becomes cos inverse of 1 by root 2 and cos inverse of 1 by root 2 is pi by 4. I cannot write 45 degrees because everything must be written in radians. Do we understand this? Yes, sir. Okay, now omega is 2 pi by capital T, where T is your time period. Omega is 2 pi by capital T multiplied by T must be equal to pi by 4. Do we understand this? Simple, simple steps I'm doing. No more complications. Pi and pi will get cancelled and I move on to the other side. My T by capital T will become 1 by 8. Yes or no? No or yes? So my time becomes T by 8, total time period divided by 8. Total time period was given as 4. So my answer becomes half. Do we understand this? Can I have some raise hands from all of you that we have understood this, sir? Yes, sir. Now I will ask you one question and I hope that you can solve this for me. Can you solve this for me? Okay, so the question that I will ask, uh, you have noted down that uh, solution, no? Find. Okay, you have not seen it. Just a moment. Sia, you want to see it? 
I'll wait for a minute. Then what I'm going to do is post another question for you. And in that question, where is my pen? And in that question, you are supposed to find one more time. I don't know where I've kept my pen. Where did I keep it? It was here only. Okay. Find the time taken. Find the time taken by the particle to move from Remember, my question is from mean position to a position where the displacement is amplitude divided by 2. Do we understand the question? In the question that was asked, originally, it was from extreme position to A by root 2. My question, my question is from mean position to amplitude by 2. Can you solve this for me, everyone? I will give you a minute to do this. Okay, then I will help you out. Remember, I have to write the, I have to find the time from mean position. So which equation should I use? Tell me, you will know this. Which equation should I use? I will use x is equal to a cos omega t. Do we understand this? Yes, sir. Should I use x equal to a cos omega t or x equal to a sin omega t? Everyone is sleeping. This was the equation from the extreme position. Do we remember this? Yes, sir. Should I be using this or should I be using the other one? I should be using the other one, which is written from the mean position. Will you remember it now? Yes, sir. Now you see the value of x should be a by 2. So we just put the value of x as a by 2. a by 2 will be equal to a sin omega t. Do we understand this? Yes, sir. A C will get cancelled. So I have sin of omega t as half. When is sin of theta? Sin of any angle as half. Then that angle becomes... 30 degrees, yes or no? And 30 degrees is pi by 6. Do we understand this? Yes, sir. So my omega t becomes pi by 6. My omega is 2 pi by t. So 2 pi by t into small time t becomes my pi by 6. Pi and pi will get cancelled. My T by capital T becomes 1 by 12. That implies my T becomes capital T by 12. Do we understand this? This is how it is done. Do we understand this? Please raise your hands and tell, let me know. Will you be able to do it now? Again, if, I, if, if it comes in the exam. Mm. Remember... When the equation is or the value is given from extreme position, use cos wala equation. When it is given from mean position, use sin wala equation. Do we understand this? Do we understand this, beta? I'll give you a minute to note it down. Done, sir. Then, sir, this is the next question, sir, and I hope you can give me the answer quickly, sir. These are the type of questions that will come to you, sir. The total energy of a particle executing SHM is proportional to what? A, B, C, D. Displacement frequency, velocity, square of the amplitude of motion. So, option A is wrong. Option C is also wrong. B and D are correct. It is half K A e. square. K depends on omega. D, sir. Yes. D. D as well as B, it also depends on the frequency because it is K. K depends on the frequency. Or K is a constant. So, if we think in that terms, it does not depend on frequency. 
k is the constant and this k by m is omega so it depends on k so it depends on omega whatever if question comes like this you will have to mark the amplitude of motion ka or square do we understand this can i move on to the next question and here is the next question a particle is executing shm along a straight line question number 34 the graph which shows the correct uh, kinetic energy potential energy and t tell me which graph is showing me the correct uh, configuration a b c d which graph is correct three graphs are drawn on the same uh, sheet which one is correct i am waiting for your answer bacha graph number 1 u is just like u k is inverted u and t is a straight line do we understand this yes or no yes sir then here comes uh, the 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 next one sir graph between potential energy versus time tell me tell me tell me potential energy versus time tell me tell me tell me which is the graph potential energy versus time bacha which is the graph Which is the graph, Bija? A sir, A sir is correct, sir. Well done, sir. Was it a guess, sir, or do you remember it, sir? Okay, I hope you remember it, and it was not a guess. Now comes the last question for today, and I hope that you can solve it for me. you have to tell me which is the graph of v square versus a square let's see who can give me this if you apply just a bit of common sense where is v maximum where is a maximum when v increases what happens with a if you can remember that you would be able to give me the answer for this one and shall i have your answers please which is the correct graph graph i am getting two 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 fingers yes yes that is correct number two remember when velocity increases acceleration decreases velocity is maximum at the mean position this is the mean position to start acceleration is zero and at the extreme position velocity is zero and acceleration is maximum do we understand this everyone with this we come to an end of this class one or two things are left to discuss in the simple harmonic motion which we shall do in the next class what is remaining uh, is the motion of mass attached to a spring and how springs are uh, attached what is series combination and what is parallel combination of spring and then we have to see the simple harmonic motion of a simple pendulum it would be of great use and help if you can study from the notes before coming to the class tomorrow i mean tomorrow means the next class can you do that for me can you study springs and simple pendulum from the sheet before coming to the class on monday can you do that no okay if you can't do that i will uh, try to wind it up and uh, start with the next topic the next topic is wave motion and i've already sent you the sheet for wave motion okay so i'll see you on monday and i hope that you will be reading uh, spring before coming to the class will you be doing it Yes yes yes
Okay, I understand the enthusiasm, and again, coming back to the point, do not get into a tussle, do not fight. Fighting does not solve anything in your life. Your life only gets complicated because of a fight. So on that note, wishing you all safe, stay at hostel, do not get into a tussle, enjoy your life, stay happy, and I'll see you on the other side of this uh, week. And take care, have a nice day. God bless you all, beta.